starting to. Well, you're back there, you're not going to know. It's more Belgium. Oh, it's relentless. And and this is this is what they they would want to do. They want to dominate this game. Oh, lovely lead. What a goal that is. It's Thomas Brills. It's the leave at the top of the circle that is the delight and allows Brills the shot on target. Oh, that's a lovely ball inside the chance here, and it's a goal! What a response, and it is McGinn, it's O'Donoghue, sorry, who's got the equaliser. A brilliant response from Shane O'Donoghue in Ireland, and the lead, well, it's at two minutes and about 40 seconds. Ireland back on the scoreboard, back on level terms. Their first goal in a World Cup since the 26th of March, 1978. Chinese players flooding forward, there's three of them in the D currently. Lovely hands, oh and China are into the lead here! Wow, it's out! Mm. So Zhu for China, England the shell shot. Goji passed two, three defenders and looking at the goalkeeper. Before the goalkeeper comes in, just lifting it over. Gonna have another go here. Kempman to the left hand side. It's Hertzberg and they're trying to play it in. And it's Kreisauer who makes it 2 0. Beautiful play by the Dutch, and you can't say it hasn't been coming. And they get their reward. Marco Kreisauer with yet another goal. And this is where the first goal came from. And it is Kreisauer. Kreisauer driving at the heart of the defence. Kreisauer going. Hertzberg a 3 0. This time. Scorer turns provider, and provider turns scorer. Kreuzer wins the ball, runs it, lovely little pass, look at that, and finished. Kreuzer, oh, lovely touch, Hertzberger through, one on one, has he got the power, has he got the skill, has he got the finish? You better believe it! Oh, my word! What a finish from Jeroen Hertzberger! Beautiful little touch on. There's Hertzberger, he keeps it in front of him as he has to do. Quality shot. Payat. Made a lot in India, of course. Payat! And we have the opening goal of the evening, Augustin Mazzelli of Argentina. This is a powerful ball by Payat and Mazzelli under the cross. Keep going. Picked up by Tarrant in mid-air. Oh, and then Villa steals it back. Oh, and he's beaten Joyce for speed there. That was just too good. New Zealand are going to refer this, though. Yeah, it's the ball. What do you think, Dan? Totally agree with you. Totally agree. It was a good forwards tackle. Lynn, there is no clear reason to change your decision. The goal was given. Stunning strike, and Joyce, well, it was unsavable, really. To Hayward, Hayward to Swan, Swan moves it on quickly, nice touch from Craig, Craig into the circle, Craig driving hard, pulls back, here's the shot, and that's the opening goal for Australia, Jake Wetton, for the first time they've really made some inroads round the back, beautiful ball, back, and finished off by Wetton. There's the ball, Swan slips it, he's been making things happen all day, lovely play by Craig. This is a penetrating run, slips the ball back, wet and that's perfect. And Pinner had it covered, well covered as much as he could, but not enough. Wonderful finish. Here is Ockenden. And here is Mitten. And in front, lovely, lovely ball back to Mitten, ball back into the circle, shot comes in, Gubbers. second goal, it's Gubbers who doubles the lead. Mitten gets it, knocks it across, Brands in front, you've got to get in front, lovely little knock off, back, and Gubbers gets there and that's a telling shot, again nothing, nothing that Pinner could have done to save that. He gets there quickly, he has got a very powerful shot and this guy's a goal scorer. Such a floaty player is one. That's a good ball. 
turn. Oh, and it's in! Great goal for Pakistan. On the bench, they're cheering. Rayhan Butt is absolutely delighted. Atik turning 360 degrees and then finding the right side of Kumar Subramani. And it's in! An absolute rip snorter from Faisal. Malaysia are back in it, their opening goal of the World Cup campaign. And Faisal Sari fires Malaysia back on level terms. As you can see, the draw puts New Zealand into second space. And uh, France, well, they, they win against Argentina. Here's the chance of Ovas looking into the top corner. Spain take the lead, Beltran gives them the lead. A fantastic finish into the roof of the net. Well, a long pass, a very good pass. And Beltran turns over the shoulder of Joyce. Not much he could have done. Here come New Zealand. Three. Left hand side of the center, there's a goal! What a finish that is from Hayden Phillips. And New Zealand are right back in it with 10 minutes to go. Here's the pass from Inglis, he slips it out, Hayden Phillips gets it. You would think the goalkeeper had it covered from there, but he hit a rocket. That is a scintillating shot. Two in the world and 20 in the world, and at the moment, it's the unfancied French leading and they might be about to make it three they have i cannot believe it it's quen the number 24 has made it three nothing i would say extraordinary finishes and also commitment by each and every player that's a clever pass such an excellent goal just lifting it over ball comes in beautifully taken across oh what a goal that is that is a fantastic finish from Jake Watton. But it was the speed of the hand-eye coordination, the trap, the pass, and Watton deflects it into the far corner. Good defending by Haywood, he jumped in front. Can he find Covers? Covers! 8-0, and Covers has a hat-trick. Jeremy Haywood jumps in front, there's the slip, and Covers hits it first time. Sloan, now space on the left-hand side, just outside the 23, back right to Condon. This is good from England. Kalman with the chance, pulls it back. Hart can't stop it. England are into the lead, and it's Condon to finish it. Taking his own time at the baseline, playing that 90 degrees pass that's at the backside, instead of just sending the ball across the penalty spot area with the deflection from a defender and condom. Here is Ansel, oh, and it's in as well! The reverse stick of Liam Ansel once more doing the damage. England celebrate! Top of the circle, that's where he created his space ahead of the defender, and immediately once he entered the striking circle, this is where he changed with one of the most difficult shots, Tomahawk. Sanford slider. Touch and it's in! What a goal that is! And it's Gaul who scored in an Ireland just can't keep their defence together. England have breached it once more. Every time Ireland get back on level terms, the English respond. Here's a chance early on, and South Africa take the lead inside the opening 35 seconds. What a dramatic start here. Belgium caught mapping. Buna gets a wonderful cross, but that is a perfect shot. Van Ash, perhaps he would have liked to have reached a bit better, but it was hit very hard. Oh no. Oh no, Ruhr picks up the loose ball. Ruhr into the circle, still going. Christopher Ruhr on the reverse stick and dispatches it into the top right-hand corner. Goes for the first time past the good enough. Ruhr makes the interception, can't tackle. And from there, at that distance, he hits the ball hard. 
top corner. Nothing that Kumar could have done about that. Milkow in front to Ruhr's left if he wants. Ruhr's going to go alone, he's going to show his pace. Ruhr into the circle, off the post and in! A second goal for Ruhr. Ruhr, he has space, he has one person in front of him, he's got the pace to beat anybody, and that shot is perfect. Does Milkow get a touch? Here's the ball. I think he does. Yes, he does. Yep. You're right. You've got to say it's Milkow's goal. And it does go to Razi, who picks up, look at the deflection, it's in! They have got a second goal! Oh, my word, the pool, full length of the far post, deflects it past Walter, and the Malaysia have two in two minutes, and are right back in it. Yeah, still just a goal behind. Shot, goal. What a goal from Van Damme. On the forehand, takes his chance, Carter, unstoppable. Nolly is celebrating the Netherlands' second goal. And can come forward again, Rossi almost reluctant to retreat for Argentina. Long ball over the top, an opportunity is Calvin, and it's a goal! Well, he had a yellow card earlier on, from zero to hero, Will Calvin. What a great move, what a brilliant pass, and a perfect execution. No chance for Vivaldi. What a time to score. Here comes Covers. On the reverse, and it's in! Harry Gibson had no chance. Blake Covers, once he received the ball, he just took one step inside the circle, and with a tomahawk, no chance for Gibson. Harvey still going. That's very good from Australia. And it's Craig once more. After receiving the ball, he just passed on. He went in support. Just confusing the defenders that the ball would come to him. Not for the first time. 